Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sang the Doodles. Happy New Year. Those of you that have been with me for a little while, yes, it's been a full year since I've uploaded a video for you guys. But I did shift my focus a little bit to Instagram Reels and a few YouTube Shorts. But you know what, I just had so much fun uploading videos for you guys and I like showing you my process or my thoughts and then sharing the things that I'm really excited about. I'm going to keep this video short, I don't want to talk a lot, um, I know there's a lot of update going on in my life, but I don't know if you can hear it, my voice is straining and I'm having a hard time talking. Anyways, I want to start off this year by showing you guys the Copic crate that came out in November. When they announced it, I grabbed them for myself. Is it worth the money? Definitely. $35 for the box is a steal. With tax, I did pay $45. But even so, if you're in North America, a set, a six set of Copic sketch markers is about 25 to 30 dollars so it's it's a good deal <laughs> and if they came out with it again this year i would buy it again because you don't know what you're gonna get that's the fun part the mystery so in this copic crate i got three sets of markers two of them were copic sketches um one of them was the guilty gear copic chow set I also received the Copic marker, um, well I guess case holder, and a cute little mini Copic keychain. And I decided that I didn't want to fixate on doing the perfect illustration, especially with it being my first video, so I thought I would do just a few quick doodles kind of get that mess muscle memory working again and I just really want to play around with color combinations um, with just the markers I had. I did pull a few skin tones and um, I think a gray or two just for more contrast uh, but you know <laughs> I really struggled and if you guys keep on watching you'll see I made multiple mistakes very bad color combinations um i'm just out of practice you guys alcohol markers i love but i also hate because i'm really not good with color theory and i don't i don't think about you know what my color palette's going to be ahead of time i just kind of color on the fly so i i just threw everything out the window and decided to have fun with the coloring and not worry about it being perfect anyways that's all i'm gonna say in this video maybe in the next video i'll talk a little bit longer tell you where i've been the new hobbies i'm into if you guys have any questions um leave them down below i like reading the good and the bad and I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video and you guys are doodling along with me. Until next time, you guys. Bye.